Now this uh, GR300 has some interesting modifications. For starters, this was a gray market unit, meaning it was sold in the U.S. Uh, with a Japanese power supply transformer. Uh, unfortunately, the previous owner tried to jam in an inappropriate transformer with uh, very mixed results. And since GR300 transformers, which are small, 15 volt, bipolar, uh, they're just about impossible to find these days. When I started uh, working on the unit, I opted instead to use an external power supply. And in this case, I use a GM70 power supply. The power is routed directly to an XLR jack added to the back of the GM70. The main circuit board doesn't even power up on the GM70. And a corresponding XLR jack was added to the GR300. Now this has two benefits. First, the GM70 has a more modern, robust power supply with extra headroom, uses dedicated voltage regulators for each output, and you get slightly better specs by moving the power supply outside of the GR300. Now this is the interesting part. In August 2013 on the Vintage Guitar Synth Forum, Mike from Metalbox.com had outlined a method to route the LFO from pitch to instead modulate the filter cutoff. So I tried this and went a little bit further adding top panel switches for more options. And to make this circuit work, I needed to add some buffer circuits to prevent interaction from the pitch modulation and the filter modulation. And with the transformer removed from this GR300, I had some extra room to make these changes. So, with the pitch switch up, the GR300 works as before. Adding in LFO modulation causes the pitch to warble. Now with the filter switch up, you can use the LFO to modulate the filter, which sounds pretty cool. And this is a simple mod that gives the GR300 some of the standard features found in other analog synths. And you can still modulate uh, the filter uh, using the envelope as well. And yes, you can flip both switches up and modulate the filter and pitch at the same time. Now I'll note that I'm controlling this GR300 with an Ibanez IMG2010, which has a custom PC board installed that adds the hex fuzz signal to the IMG2010, uh, specifically uh, to use this with the GR300, otherwise there's no uh, hex fuzz sound when you use an IMG2010 with a GR300. Uh, so for more info on this mod and just tons more uh, vintage rolling guitar synth information, uh, check out my vintage rolling guitar synth website www.gr300.com or uh, just Google Roland GR300. <laughs>